um, even they would have never thought of locating here. Now they're calling Chattanooga home because we have an asset that they can build on that they can't do that anywhere else. The reason for that is this. The fiber optic lines that can provide anyone in a 600 square mile area that gig of online speed. To put that gig in perspective, the average American home gets about 5 megabits of internet speed. This is 200 times faster. This is all about fiber. It's all about fiber. Harold DePriest is president of Chattanooga's Electric Power Board. What fiber does is collapse time and space. So the, the very uh, fringes of our network, which is way, way out in the country, it's just exactly the same as if it were in the middle of downtown Chattanooga. Fiber lines have been in use since the 1960s, but they almost never were carried into individual homes. Here they are. We basically, we built this interstate highway system, but we didn't put a lot of off-ramps. What we're building is the off-ramp. We're building the off-ramp that comes into the city streets and then all the way up to, the, up to your driveway. The board initially installed the fiber lines as an energy savings tool, so power outages could be restored faster in seconds. And seconds. But the $300 million investment paid off in unanticipated ways when Internet service was rolled on top of it. It's like having electricity 10 to 15 years before any other community has electricity. Since the gig was launched, entrepreneurs all the way from California to Ireland have arrived to test just how far it will go, <laughs> bringing with them $400 million in investment money and 6,000 jobs, many of them heeding Grizzle's call. You start building applications now, start building devices now, or if you're building them somewhere else, come test them here now. Because how the rest of the world is going to look in 10 years is how Chattanooga looks today. There must have been a lot of people who said, you can't do this. Our support was always in the 80, 88 percent range. So the support was always huge. Uh, most of the opposition was based upon the, the, the notion, well, we're a government entity and government just isn't smart enough to do anything right. <laughs> uh, they were wrong. We were smart enough to figure it out. In 2013, Chattanooga sits as a city transformed. The best of the old world combined with the best of the new. And an unlikely example for the rest of the country. We live in a day and age when people blow smoke all the time. They talk about what they're going to do and their talk exceeds what they're really doing. Uh, we're the other way around. We actually have it. We have built the network. It is up and working and it's here. But a lot of people have to come and see it to believe it. Jeff, thank you so much. Uh, the question is, can other cities do this? They can, but they have to make an investment. They have to have a plan and they have to make an investment. They have to have a lot of money. I mean, this is long-term planning. This is not something that crept up in the last like couple, couple weeks here, a couple months. This took more than a decade to plan out, and now they're seeing the fruits of their labor. So what's interesting, too, is that he says this is an example, in his mind, of big government working. It, it is a government entity. This is EPB. Uh, so he says in this case, they did it right. Now, keep in mind, you have to pay for the service. It costs money, but they have to recoup money on their investments. So if we had an Internet that was 200 times faster than what I have now. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> Netflix. So I have the question before I typed it in. Netflix all day long. That's right. And remember, this is also partially a story cards. <laughs> of unintended, yes, indeed, of unintended economic consequences. Yeah. This is something they first put up so that they could... Um, restore power outages faster yeah. in seconds instead of days and they said wait a minute we can roll the internet on top yeah. of this what's interesting about this to me is that you know this idea government can do interesting things mm -hmm. you know and the private and the public working together made a difference for a city anything anybody can do something interesting yeah. it just has to be planned out the right way and funded well and funded the right way yeah. all right chattanooga love yeah. chattanooga jeff Laura, thank you